Hey guys, I wanted to share um, some grooming supplies I got on Amazon because Anne Marie from Florida was so nice to um, send me an Amazon gift card um, thanking me for posting videos, which I appreciate. I thank you guys for watching. Um, but because dogs are so expensive, I haven't purchased this stuff because of course we've got to save for, you know, heartworm, uh, vaccination, stuff like that. Just to give you an example, this is what we spent uh, yesterday. Let's see if you can see that. 405.52 at the vet yesterday. Source Creek vet, <laughs> just in case you don't believe me. Um, we had to get, um, we had to get some vaccinations for Max and for Magnum. I had to get Magnum's rabies. I had to get his dog license. I had to, I got a 12 pack of heart guard. I got the baby's heart guard and flea stuff. Um, we decided that we we're going to, um, get the Lyme disease vaccination for all our dogs because in the past couple of years where, which, uh, before Michigan didn't really have a tick problem. Uh, as bad as it's been the past couple of years, so we decided we're going to get them vaccinate, vaccinated for the uh, Lyme disease. So I've got to take my other three dogs in to get that started um, here in a couple of days. And those are $32 a piece. Um, and then you got to go in for, I guess, a, like a booster shot um, when they first start getting it, and then it's yearly. Um, I don't know if the booster shot is $32 too, but i got to take Max and Magnum back in three weeks. So I'm going to be in and out of the vet here in the next month, uh, quite a bit <laughs> and a lot of money. So that's why I haven't purchased myself any other grooming supplies. So I want to thank you again, Anne-Marie, so much for the Amazon gift card. I did go over the Amazon gift card. <laughs> um, I think I spent $136. So let me show you what I got. So let's start with this. Envelope. And let me make sure I'm in frame. Yes, I am. I don't want to show you guys myself because I took a nap because I haven't been sleeping well. Uh, I like have insomnia and I don't know. Girls, I know guys won't know this, but let me know. I'm 46 and am I starting the perimenopause? I know this is TMI, TMI but perimenopause phase where I can't get any sleep. Oh, guess what? This is my husband's. <laughs> this is my husband's. Movie he ordered. <laughs> this is a groom supplies. I guess I should have looked at the name on the package. Forgot he ordered that. He loves that movie, The Thomas Crown Affair. That's what he named his real estate company, uh, Crown Real Estate, after. <laughs> Just for a little quiz factor there. Fun fact. Okay. <laughs> oh, now let's start. I was wondering why something is packaged like that differently. Okay. So, first thing I got was the wall peanut. And I used to be a store manager for Sally Beauty Supply. And we used to sell the wall peanut like crazy. People loved this because it was smaller. The blade wasn't as wide as a clipper blade. Um, I do have the Andis cordless trimmer, but it just wasn't powerful enough to me for like um, on their paws and stuff. So I bought this to try out and see how it works. Let me take it out, show you guys. I think this was $32 from the seller I got it from. I'll link everything below if you're interested in just checking it out. Take off the guard uh, protector or the blade protector. Here it is. Whoops, sorry, I just kicked my stand. See how small that is? It's small and not as wide. And I thought this might even be good for like, um, let me fix my camera now that I kicked it. I thought this might be good for like um, some areas on the face um, and like I said the paws 
and stuff like that. And it also comes with some uh, guards and some cooker oil. So that's one thing I got. And I'll of course let you guys know how it works and show you um, on a video when I groom them. I've got to groom them here in about, oh, the puppy Magnum. I still have not really groomed him yet. I have trimmed around his ears. I've trimmed up the paw hair, um, around his eyes, stuff like that, but I have not done a full groom on him yet. Um, so I probably am going to do him in the next week or so. Okay, so that's the first thing. I better put this over here so my dogs don't try to, especially Magnum, try to eat it. And then I got these scissors. Oh, one's out of the packaging here. I think these were $9.99. I need some new scissors. I got from some, some from uh, Sally Beauty Supply. That works really good, but I noticed the one, not the thinning shears, but the regular scissors are getting a little dull. So I thought I'd get some more. And this came with the um, thinning shears. They feel pretty good in your hand. Let's see if you can tell. They're the kind that have the blade that has like slots between it. Comes with that, and then it comes with two pair of scissors. Let's see, is one longer than the other? Yes, one's a little bit longer than the other. And they have the um, rounded tips on the end of the scissors so you're not poking. They feel pretty good. The reviews, a lot of people were astounded by how cheap they were and how good they were, how sharp they were. So I thought I'd try these out. So that's that. And these are by Yogo. Y O G O. But like I said, I'll, I'll link everything below what I purchased. I'm get back in here. Okay. Then I got the, I've been wanting these for a while. The Andis um, Blade Guards. I got these and it's a nine piece set and I'm hoping it'll fit my clippers. So I had a lady on a Facebook group, um, on Facebook, I think it's called Schnauzer's Rule is the Facebook uh, group, wanted to know if these fit or not. So I'm gonna go downstairs, get my clippers and see if they fit because I'm curious too and I'll let you guys know, just a second. Okay, let's open these up. Whew. I guess we'll take the one that popped out. Get my clippers out of here. And I think it said it fits over the um, number 10 blade. I got the 7 on here. So I'm going to put the number 10 blade on. And if I remember right in the reviews, it said to put... The instructions would say it completely ba backwards. Yeah, this is way, this is way too, uh, let's see, is it small? I don't know, these might not work, you guys. And I'm going to be bummed. Bummed. Spring loaded. Oh, I guess it does fit. See, I was doing like the people in the um, uh, the reviews were saying, don't go by what they say to do. Keep fiddling with it and you'll figure it out. There you go. It does fit. Now I'll see if I can get it off. They're kind of like spring loaded, I guess you'd say. Yeah, so let's try this small one again. Yeah, it does fit. <laughs> I was getting frustrated, like people said not to be. I would never use this real small one, um, probably, but I was thinking the, um, boy, they're kind of tight. Um, this bigger one for maybe the um, leg hairs might make it easier and not make them as short. So yeah, they do fit. I can't remember the lady's name who was wondering if these are fit, but 
they will. And it's the nine piece. Let's see, will that show? Sorry guys, the lighting's bad here. It's kind of cloudy out. Nine piece small comb set. They're blue, they're by Andis. And I'm gonna link those below for those of you who have this clipper. This is the Andis um, Ultra Edge clipper. And I'll link this too. This, this clipper is awesome. So I'll have, actually I think I already have that usually um, in the description box, all the stuff I use for grooming, which I'm gonna have to do an updated grooming, uh, what I use for grooming now. Okay, let me put this back. I'm so happy those work, you guys. I'm so excited. Some women get excited over jewelry. I get excited over grooming supplies. Okay, let me put my clippers in my here. Okay, so let me move some of this stuff. I'm gonna make a mess. Sorry, guys, I'm unorganized. Okay, so then I got to this um, Go Pet Club, which is who um, I got my grooming table from. Uh, it is, let's see if I can pick up my tripod here, a pet dryer. It says it's uh, two speed, two gear, two gear temperature. So let's take this out of the box. I'm hoping this will speed up the drying time instead of just my um, personal hair dryer. And it's supposed to be pretty quiet, it's supposed to be. I mean, anything with a motor is gonna have some noise. And my dogs don't mind the noise of my um, blow dryer. So, let's see here. Hold on guys, let me turn, let me get this out of the box. I'll be right back. Okay, I got it out of the box. Let's get it out of the bag. I have a horrible headache today, you guys. Horrible. That's why I laid down and take a nap. <clears throat> the weather here has been going nuts with my uh, sinuses. Okay, so looks like this hose isn't as long as I thought it would be, so I'm going to probably have to sit this, when I put them on my grooming table, I'm probably going to have to sit this on some kind of stand. I know they had stands, but the stands were like a hundred bucks themselves uh, for these pet hair dryers, so I may have to use like a, some kind of stand or TV tray, something um, to sit it up as tall as my uh, grooming table. So, let's see if I can figure this out without reading the directions. <laughs> like my husband would do. <laughs> let's see here. Well, that wasn't that hard. Okay, so, and then it has these attachments. Looks like it comes with two attachments. And here's what they look like. Let me get rid of this plastic flying around. Here's what they look like. Like a regular nozzle you'd put on the end of your own blow dryer. That's what they look like, just two different sizes. Those attach pretty tight. Okay, I'm gonna plug this in. And um, let me get this unwound and I'm going to plug it in and then we're going to see how loud it is. Let's see. It looks like it comes with a different um, filter like thing to catch hair and stuff. Maybe this is it. Maybe I got to install it. Not sure if it has one on it. It may have one on it. I think this might be an extra. Okay, let me plug it in and we'll turn it on and see how loud it is. Okay, we're all plugged in. Now, got two little uh, on switch here one is high off low and one is high off low for the heat so power and heat both are high and low so heat I'm gonna put on low and here we go with the power I'm gonna put it on low first I don't want to blow anything off my walls Low 
is powerful. Wow, I could blow dry my hair with that. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put it on high. Let me turn this around. I'm gonna put it on high. Wow, that's going to take some, uh, the noise, this isn't real, real loud, but the noise from the, um, just the air is pretty loud. So that's probably going to take some getting used to, uh, for my boys. And someone on uh, that Facebook group, Schnauzer's Rule, also commented not to put it by their ears, you know, on their face too much, um, because it's so powerful. I guess this can blow out coat, the undercoats of um dogs who have undercoats like a husky or uh a dog like that uh it's powerful for that this thing's got some uh juice let me tell you so i'll definitely when i use this <laughs> to videotape my boys reactions because when i turned it on um there was one sitting behind me and they ran <laughs> so i'm definitely gonna have to uh video to make that and see how they like it. Um, just like anything, you gotta get them used to stuff. And lo, as long as I have it away from their um, face, I think they're gonna be fine with it. So, definitely have to do a video on this and I'll do videos on the other stuff. And thank you again so much, Anne-Marie, for the um, gift card. Um, which allowed me to jump the gun and purchase some of this stuff I've been wanting. I really appreciate it. Um, so I will talk to you guys later and let me know for sure too if you're interested in uh, these videos. Let me know because I don't want to do them if uh, they're going to bore you. So let me know if you want to see reviews and how all this stuff works. So see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.